Graham, we're in your lovely renovated home here in yes. Manor Park. Um, how long have you lived here for? We have been here since 2006. Oh, so okay. going on seven years. Oh, so quite a while. Yeah. All right. Tell me, what does home mean to you? Uh, home means to me um, really a respite from the craziness that is the world, not mm -hmm. just my job, everybody else's job. So yeah. it's really important for us to have a place where everybody's comfortable and uh, we just, we love it here and uh, both the neighborhood and the house itself now. Yeah. So uh, that's a big part of who we are is the fact that we're, uh, we're here and we love this place. All right. Uh, what is your favorite room or nook in the home and why? Probably right here. This is my chair. Is chair? Is Dad's anybody else chair. allowed to sit in that? Yeah, they are. Oh, yeah, they are. I, okay. I can share it, but it's pretty rare. But uh, it's where my music is, where I do my reading, uh, where... But more importantly, I love the view from here. Uh-huh. Um, you get a really nice view in the morning and in the evening of the tall trees in the right. neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And it's actually quite a long view. And it also gives me a view of the street. And I can see what trouble the Richardson boys are getting up to. <laughs> and uh, it, it's a great part of the house because you can see what's going on outside and still enjoy inside. All right. Uh, Graham, what is on your bedside table then? My bedside table for reading uh, actually has been, this is, uh, I, I haven't, uh, picked up a book recently like in the last month. Mm -hmm. I've been doing a lot of iPad reading. Yes And I have an app that's very popular called Flipboard. Okay, and it is basically a uh, Multiple magazine feeds into one window, right. so I'm reading things like I like to cycle So I'm reading bicycling magazine. I'm reading the New York Times. I'm reading the New Yorker uh -huh. all of these things all at once on the iPad so okay. uh, that's what I'm reading but I do I do like books too yes <laughs> <laughs> not a fading memory no all right what is a favorite memory in your home um, I think uh, the favorite that's a good question a favorite memory in my home mm -hmm. is would be when actually and I mean this uh, when I came home uh, after I got this job yeah um, I called Leanne, of course, there have been discussions beforehand, and when it was uh, finally done, mm -hmm. uh, we've moved around a lot. And with this job, uh, 6 o'clock on CTV, I'm going to stay put for a long time. Yes. Um, and we kind of both realized that, and uh, my son Jack was just going to bed, and he could tell that we were excited about something, and it dawned on him at the same time that we would not be moving anytime soon, which was very exciting for him. Yeah. Uh, he said, does this mean I can be here for my next birthday? Because oh. we've moved around. We've been there here four years already. We've, yes. been, we've been in Ottawa for quite some time now. But when I was working with the network, I was moving around a lot. And he knew that. So with this one, uh, we're not moving around. Yeah. So it's, it, that, that's a really nice memory. Uh, Graham, what did you dream of uh, becoming as a kid? Oh, I was one of these guys who knew what they wanted to do when they were 15 years old. And so I'm not kidding. Really? This I'm is what you kidding. wanted to do? This is it. Wow. I wanted to be a TV journalist when I was 15 years old. I was watching Ted Koppel in grade 9, grade 10. In yes. grade 9? Oh, yes. a nerdy kid, perhaps? Pretty, a, a little no. bit. A political junkie. Okay, yes. And then um, all through university, I took yeah. the shortest route possible to this career. Really? I did a short you know, undergraduate degree at Queen's and then a one-year short post-grad at uh, King's College in Halifax and because I wanted to start working because I knew I wanted to do this. Right. So lots of my friends had no idea. Some of them still don't. Yeah. And yes. uh, I, I knew right away, so it was kind of weird. But lucky. Yeah. You I weren't feel left really, searching. Absolutely. And yeah. really fortunate to do something I love. Right. I mean, how, who, how many people can say that? What is your idea of happiness? My idea of happiness... <laughs> is uh, a safe and healthy family, mm -hmm. a, a career that I love, mm -hmm. um, going to work every day, spending a lot of time at work, but loving what I do, mm -hmm. and knowing that, uh, and hoping that my kids are going to be all right. That's it. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. Yeah. yeah. I think when, anytime you move beyond that, whether it's you know, lifestyle, money, whatever it is, mm -hmm. if you take away any of those things, none of the other stuff matters. 
All right. Conversely, what is your idea of misery? Um, my idea of misery is, uh, I think, uh, having an unsafe family, uh, having, you know, uh, an illness in the family that you cannot control, that you mm -hmm. have no control over, mm -hmm. um, and uh, not enjoying what I do every day, looking at it like a, like a job. Right. And luckily so far, um, that's not my life. Yeah. So just the opposite. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think so. Because it's, and it's funny, I hadn't actually thought about that question, but that, that's a, that's, that would be misery that you didn't have control yeah. over how safe or well your family is. Yes. And every day you get up to do what it is you do and you're not enjoying yourself. It's drudgery. Drudgery. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Who are your heroes? <clears throat> um, this is not corporate. One of my heroes uh, is Lloyd Robertson. Okay. And uh, and for a number of reasons, um, a few years ago, Lloyd came out and talked publicly about uh, his mother's mental illness. Yes. And how uh, she she uh, very very serious mental illness when he was a child, and for him to achieve what he's achieved, coming. Uh, from Stratford as a boy uh, to reach the highest position, one of the highest positions in the country in broadcasting, mm -hmm. and to do it with such class for so long, and to be trusted for so long. Mm -hmm. um, if I can come anywhere close to that in my little corner or my small part of my life, uh, that would be a good thing. I didn't know that about him. Neither did I until no, he, I didn't it was know. In, his bio, in his biography. Was he, oh, in his biography, so he was virtually on his own type um, thing? No, his dad was or? very progressive yes. for that time and, right. and got her assessed right away. Right. But back in the day, I mean, she had a lobotomy and he talked about that on the W5 profile. Oh, you're kidding. And wow. uh, so he was, you know. A lo when he was how old? I'm just curious. Sorry. He was uh, 14. So I think he was 14. I think it was, it was, he was quite young. And so no, nobody's coming over. Nobody's visiting the Robertson house. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. So yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. And he's old enough to know what's going on. Oh yeah. You know, like oh, yeah. clearly. Any other heroes? Uh, well, yeah. Bruce Springsteen. Oh yes. Yes. The Come on. <laughs> okay. You're allowed that one. Yeah. Rock and roll. <laughs> okay. Well, who doesn't? Yeah. All right. Your favorite qualities in a man. My favorite qualities in a man? Yes. Um, this is about my house, right? Is it? <laughs> well, you're a man in your house. <laughs> my favorite qualities in a man. Uh, I think uh, someone who, uh, who, uh, uh, who takes care of his family and someone who uh, helps take care of his family, mm -hmm. uh, cares about his kids, cares about his wife, mm -hmm. and um, is... Uh, is a laugh to be around, can be himself, yeah. can laugh at himself. Yes. That's what I like. Okay. Uh, favorite qualities in a woman? Same thing. Yes. Have to be funny mm -hmm. uh, and have to be able to laugh at themselves mm -hmm. and um, the ability to uh, light up a room when she walks in. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's a tall order. Not really. No? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking at her right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And you better be looking at your wife. Yes, I am. Yes. yes good. Oh, both of you. Both of you. <laughs> no, no, no. No. Yeah. Okay. All right. Except children, who has been the great love of your life? And do you remember where you first met? Of course. Yes. And she'll be listening to this. Yes. My wife, Leanne, mm -hmm. is the great love of my life. And mm -hmm. uh, yes, I remember uh, where we met. We mm -hmm. met at Queen's University under certain circumstances, which uh, were uh, a little bit cloudy at times. Oh. Yes. Was there liquor involved? Maybe. Okay. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. On her side, not mine. Oh, of course not. No. And uh, uh, we uh, we hit it off right away. And you've been together ever since? Pretty much, yes. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So her third, my third year, mm -hmm. uh, her fourth year, because yeah. she's from Alberta, so she started university early. Oh, okay. Right. And uh, we were in Kingston, and that was it. Yeah. That was it. That was it. All right, last question. Uh, Graham Richardson, how would you like to be remembered? Well, I'm not dead yet. <laughs> A long ways in the future, how would you like to be remembered? Uh, 
someone uh, who uh, who held a mirror up to the community in uh, mm-hmm. in real time mm-hmm. uh, helped do that with a great team. I'd like to be remembered <laughs> as someone who knew what was important in his life mm-hmm. uh, and was not all consumed by what he did for a living. Yes, and I find that in media in television it is difficult not to become the guy on TV all the time yeah and it is a constant struggle but I think I'm getting better at the balance part of it keeping my life here as important as my life uh, at work Check.